Alright guys, welcome to another Drift Games Bash, first Drift Games Bash of the year. Very special one this time because this one's all about giving back, right? So we're going to give back as many passenger rides as we can to Drift Games fans because there is a lot of them outside our garage right now. Um, Adam is getting given back big time. Mr. Superstar. Give it, give it back. Drift Week O'Connor as they call him. It's, it's, it's different conditions in Drift Week, that's sort of like that. Yeah, so remember all the rain on Drift Week? Yeah, yeah all the Remember all the 900 horsepower you had? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what you got today. Yeah. So today we're going to let Adam jump in his first ever pro car, which is my Mustang. That is one of the badass cars we have. It's also the most horsepower, yeah. most torque. Three or, four, three or four times the amount of horsepower. Over a thousand newton meters of torque in that car. And Adam's going to jump in with you, Josh, and see how he gets on today. We're going to give some pasture rides to as many people as we can. We had an issue with the Corvette this morning, off camera, and it wouldn't start. And we actually, thank you so much, Link ECU, because we plugged in, it showed us that we weren't getting spark. We changed the leads and the plugs, and she's running like a million dollars now. So I'm going to go give it a test while you two boys hop in the Mustang. I'm not even going to watch this because I love that car more than anything, Adam. Not put any pressure. I can tell you 20 things about it that would make your life easier, but all of them will freak you out. Go get a feel for it. It's wet out, it'll be slow. Enjoy. What did I do to deserve to be in the passenger seat? <laughs> I'm gonna lose half my staff in one run. <laughs> okay, so this isn't fake, this isn't whatever, like this is genuinely your first time in this car. Never driven this car. I've moved it around the yards at about two miles an hour. Stress, absolute stress. We're wake up, so we're gonna do this track, do another track, then the other track, and we'll see how we get on. You'd be twinning by the end of it, you'd be not so bothered yeah. here. Cut, this way you cut in and it's like da 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, As Donny gives the style, the Hail Mary mother of honor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's blessing the car. It's gonna need more than blessing. Yeah. Right. Is this it? Oh my god, so much <laughs> <laughs> See what Dave means. Dave said, literally, don't lock the wheels up. So. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
that got out of hand and I got out of hand very fast. It's very such an easy car to drive. You're supposed to be taking a handy. I'm supposed to take a handy and then that just didn't happen at all. I got, I got used to the car and I got used, it was just getting used to the weight at the start, the transition. You have to give it a bit more of a flick because you're more the transition, so. It feels like the flick is a flick. Yeah, it feels like it genuinely doesn't want to slow down. Because I'm, I'm used to, yeah, because that's what came in the first corner and I stood on the brakes and Dave told me, you stand on the brakes, it's just going to lock up and it's going to go straight. That's exactly what it did. Like, so I had to go straight back on the handbrake and try to get back on the power because he said, if you're chasing someone like that, just use the handbrake the whole time because you put your foot on the foot brake. You're just gonna you're just gonna lock up and go straight, so right I've got the nerves out of me in the in the paddock's track. Okay, so we're going to the second track, which is the what we call it the back track. I would say this is the medium one. There's like there's runoff, it's a little bit slower, and nice uh, nice long corners, so we'll see how you get on there. If someone had a if I, my Apple watch is probably telling me I'm having a heart attack at this stage. Woo. It's called 999 yeah. automatically. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's like, this man is having a heart attack now. This is what it's doing. <laughs> People on the sideline just think, somebody's stolen Dave's car. I'll stay late, I'll come in early. It's hard, it's hard, I'm hard at it. We're dedicated. Do whatever to make it work. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm farted. What? No, that's... That's steep. not great. Oh my god. <laughs> Josh! You scared the out of me. So we are now on the fastest track. This is... This is the real test. This is what your training built up to. It's like a cry kid moment. This, this is your moment. I, this is my moment that I don't want it. But we're just going to have to send Don't want to leave or do Look, everyone's at the pit wall waiting. 
Ah, I can see I can see the recovery truck are out already, so they better fire it up because we're gonna need it again soon. This is like six situation where you pre-dial 999. Yeah, just exactly. Re yeah. Ready for it. What's your emergency? I haven't had it yet, but I'm I haven't had it. I'm going to keep you on call because yeah. in about two minutes, yeah. we're about to have it. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm not sure if I'm ever going to get the opportunity to drive this car again. That is, take, take it. But, take people, <laughs> but I say people, other people are already screaming that in the comments because you're like, when am I ever going to get driving 900 horsepower or to your Mustang at a racetrack, provide, like, I'm not saying free of charge, but like covered by the company. So like, I'm going to take every opportunity I can get to drive as hard as I can. Davidis is ringing me. Davidis, you're going to have to call, call me back. Because I'm kind of busy right now. <laughs> <laughs> Go, go, go pad the track, we we'll feel it out. Three runs in, he was uh, twinning with a Beamer. Twinning with a Beamer in my car. Yeah, he, he said he was nervous going in. I've got a feeling the adrenaline took over him. I think, look at his calm face. He's a little bit drifted in and he's just gone. But it's in one piece. Yeah. Don't look at it! Nah, that, that was there before. It was on it. I was on it, yeah. It was on it. Yeah, that was from we parking on the grass at the shows all the time. It's 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 good to drive. Very good. Like it, it's just um, it was just feeling out the power because I just didn't know. And I did. I locked up the wheels. Second turn in, locked the wheels straight up. Put my foot in the power, and the fingers went whoom, and it went. You gotta so watch like, it. You gotta so watch yeah, it. Just do it on the, on the handbrake the whole way. Fine. And it's not like the sti like, once you put the FDF race shop stuff in oh. the BCs, it's oh, like, like, like it's ch ten and two. It's like an experienced car. It's like it leave it and so flick it in. Nice. Now it's, it's actually so handy, so nice. I think I'm after boiling the power steering. 
Yeah, too, too much lock to lock out. Yeah, literally too much lock use the FDF to every single piece. Do we feel like we're confident enough now to take real human beings with us in the car? He passed his training, he did uh he did the paddock track, the medium track, the purest moon here. Yeah, I, I was the tester. We were screaming the whole way, Adam! It's scary. You went under the bridge uh, easy what, the first time, and then you initiated on the left hand side the second time. Adam. It was, it was irresponsible right there. Well, the Corvette's working, the Mustang's working, and the MX-5 are working. Let's go put some go. smiles on faces. Why don't we just take a load of passengers for a thrill ride, and I've been talking to loads of people here while you are out having fun. They're all super fans of the channel. They can't wait to they see the cars. Of course, it's really bizarre for us still that people watch the whole build of these. So to get them in, in the car is like a perfect roundup to the series of game changers. That they watch it all. Now they get to like live it in the car. So I'm pumped. Let's get some helmets on, people. Let's have some fun. <laughs> Right, so uh, behind this door is something quite unbelievable. So Adam went doing all of his runs, doing some passenger spins, and the power steering pump exploded on the car again. So Wayne got a clever little idea that he was going to take the, the power steering pump from a transit van and try and make it work on the Mustang. I walked away at that point, and I'm now hoping that we have good news. Are we, are we working, Wayne? Only for you, Wayne. It's working. It's working. It's working. At the moment. Only for Gary. Don't know what we're going I heard Gary was on the refreshments, was he? Oh, they've got the refreshments here. Yeah, look at this yeah. vegan sweets yeah. even. This is what we call a drift spread. So you've got the buns, you have to have the buns. Buns are when you get around four o'clock, you need the buns, then you've got the roses, that's left over from Christmas. That's the fancy stuff. That's the fancy stuff in a Red Bull, keep you going in the meantime. This is another classic now. Uh, the cars are too <laughs> yeah. That's for tomorrow morning. Yeah. The Paris team and then, of the store heads. And then loads of sweets. Loads of sweets, there you go. So, yeah. Uh, apparently, this car is good to go with a transit van, power steering pump, and Wayne Curran, once again, Wayne. I was Tommy. Tommy and Wayne have fixed everything for us. So let's go do more passenger rides, because it's the uh, lunch break's over, and we were terrible all morning. Corvette did start, then it did start. Your car blew a boost pipe, and this blew a power steering pump. <laughs> so let's hope the second half of today goes a lot better. So I'm just going to quickly interrupt this video for one second to thank one of our sponsors, Link ECU. All three cars that I've been driving today, Link ECUs have literally made the cars run faultlessly. I mean, the clutch let us down, the power steering let us down, but the engine management never let us down. And honestly, I still bring it back to my car, standard 1.6 engine, 100 euro engine, with a big turbo slapped on it, and the abuse that it took today is just ridiculous. It doesn't make sense, no one understands. So thank you, Link ECU, for supporting us and making our engines last as long as they do. Okay, this is a bit of a jump cut from two o'clock after Adam Destroyed, not, not destroyed the Mustang, you killed the Mustang. Yeah, yeah, drove, literally drove it into the ground. And it's hard to see, you can't see it now, but the entire pit lane is like a rainbow. What's that from you? It starts like here where the Mustang was parked and goes the entire way. But anyway. That, 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 that is adrenaline for you. It was literally like a tiny, just like Dwayne showed me the bike, the pit fitting on the power steering. It's like off by like a millimetre or two, and it's just slowly water heating up. And as soon as it gets hot, it's gone. It just starts pissing out of it everywhere. But I think the lads, I literally loading up the Mustang on the back of the truck now. Hopefully have pipe fit and stuff will fit it. Get it sorted for tomorrow. And maybe get out from some more laps tomorrow. That's all well and good, but I think the true hero of this video like, is not a person. Like, we all like to take the piss out of Josh, and we all like to say, oh, this and that. Your car ran. I'm not the, that little noble steed over there. Honestly, that is since two o'clock. It did a few a bit before two o'clock, but since two o'clock, I didn't actually get out of the car. No. Like literally lap after lap after lap. And like Passenger it was in. limiter in laps. Passenger in. Passenger in. Passenger in. Like Mustang. God. Dave's Corvette. Ran for a round. Did do a good stint. 
But I think he did a good stint, but then blew a clutch. He might have smoked the clutch. Now, he says he smoked the clutch. I think he drove for like two and a half hours straight, so we don't really know if it's what's wrong with it. It could just be cool. If it cools yeah. down tomorrow, it could be fine. Towards the end of um, uh, to the day, uh, my car started cutting out. I was like, you know what? Fair enough. It's, um, it's done a long stint. Probably something's broken on it. Ran out of fuel. It was just sloshing from one side. That was it. Um, but no, it's honestly, today has been pretty much all about giving back to our fans that watch our videos and stuff like that. It's been great to see people come down. And it's great to see everyone, like people know more than I can remember in the videos. Like they're saying stuff to us and honestly it's like... One lad was talking about the weight of Dave's car because I was talking about the, oh, the skins, like the jaws. And he's like, oh yeah, he's weighed them and I weighed this much. And I was like, did we? I was like, I couldn't even remember that. I remember if I forgot, I forget, forgotten all those videos ages ago, so... Yeah. I know, right? So it's, it's good in that we can't do this to everybody around the world because obviously we're in Ireland and we're, it'd be, it'd be very, of, very expensive to transport the cars over. It'd be a bit of a commute. But this was a little way of giving back to the people that support us and watch the videos and buy our merchandise and everything like that. And it's honestly been a great day. We haven't filmed that much. It's the first time I've actually drove and not really filmed, which has been oh, it's quite, quite nice. Back to back to back to back. I mean, we got, we got, three, we got cat ta or three car tandems with us. We actually did. You get the, again, we said, you know what? We'll take it steady. I'm not gonna, I, I saw in my mirror it was not steady. I was behind, I was behind Dave and I was fairly close to him and I was like, if he spins out now, which he did actually at one point, and I crash into him. I crash into his one-off car with his other one-off car. I'm like, this is just going to make my mind melt. And then I was at the front and I was thinking, if I spin, I've taken out two of Dave's cars. Yeah, yeah, like, oh. So no, um, anyways, we're gonna round up this video here because it's the end of the day and we're not really going to achieve anything from now, but uh, tomorrow's video at the bash, we're going to kind of do something a little bit different. We're gonna show you around some of the different cars and the variety and make it more focused on the other people. So this video is focused on us. I think there's some mad stuff expected. I, I, I know of one car expected to come down tomorrow. And yeah, there's, uh, we saw some pictures uh, when we heard some rumors. Yeah, so. And if those rumors are true, he's a, he's you a, do, he's a brave man. Yeah, you, you do not want to miss yeah. tomorrow's or the next video's episode. Yeah. I said that in such a bad way. Thank you very much for watching. See you again on the next one. On the next one. On the next one.